company has been asking me to do a OneNote tutorial. If you watched my other video about how I outline, I actually use OneNote for all of my outlining. So um, we're just going to play with our little things. Um, obviously, the best way to get better at OneNote is to basically just play with things. But I'm going to try to do things and show you how to do things. Um, so over here in this corner under my notebooks, this is the first thing that pops up when you get into OneNote. There are a couple of features that I just don't use, but um, it's really about tailoring everything to use to the best of your abilities. So basically what I do, um, I would start a new app, I would add a new notebook, but um, you know what? I'm going to just add a new notebook. So I'll add a new notebook, and the first thing I'll do is I'll add, I'll pick a color. So let's pick lime green. So one thing I'll do, I'll say um, my tutorial. Tutorial. Is that how you spell tutorial? I guess so. So the first thing I'll do, I'll create it, and it's creating my notebook. Now, just as one thing to know, that you cannot change the name of the notebook right here so you have to make sure you name it whatever you want to name it right here if you don't we'll have to go through a, a lot of different things just because okay so I'm really not technical but it has something to do with the file and the origination of the file and all this other stuff so just pick the right name all right so the first thing I want to do I'm, I'm making this for YouTube so um, I would name this I'll just say let's see YouTube and you would name the section you can rename it you'll say YouTube alright so here as we have YouTube what we can do is do a new page and what I want to do I want this to be a sub page of that first page so I can close it and I wish I knew the names of these things but I don't uh, drop down uh, so a drop down so um, I can add different things and make them sub pages so let's say if since we're in law school I'm just, let me not use YouTube let me just say torts and so this will be I'm gonna rename this to torts and so this is me me personally I make a notebook for each class but what you can do is you can do torts you can do contracts I don't like to do this and you know what since I don't like to do it I'm not gonna show you how to do it so what I'll do is I'll say negligence because I want to stay in torts because this tutorial will be about torts I'm gonna rename this to intentional torts so since this is intentional torts there are seven intentional torts so this page right here will be um, we'll say um, intent because you need intent first. Next, we will need uh, let's see assault. Here, we'll rename this to battery. All right. So what I generally do, I will go to intent, and I'm not sure where you are in your torch journey, but I would add a new sub page, a new page. And I would make this page a sub page of that page. And so what I would do is I um, make a new page, make a new page. All of my cases that deal with intent would be these. So I'll say case four, case three. And y'all, if I'm not being, there's a lot of things that I do that are, I'm kind of like just going through the motions. I'm not the best trainer or tutor, but um, hopefully if you have any more questions, just let me know. So if it's about intent, I'll put all of my cases that I have under intent. What I normally do is I'll do my all of my assignments during the week, and on the weekend, I'll debrief. And the way I'll debrief is I'll take all these cases, one, two, three, four, and I will make a big old slide about everything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and show you one of my let's see if we take constitutional law so okay this is a lot but like this is my constitutional law all of the information that you see here 
started from case law. So I had like, let's see, like under federal jurisdiction. Okay, standing right here. So I had standing and I had all of my cases under there. But on the weekends, what I would do is everything needed to make this entire concept, I would put here. So, um, so the great thing about OneNote, you can make things and tailor things to how you want to do it. So what I can do is I can highlight, I can make boxes. So I would insert. And a lot of these things come with like playing. So I will have to put, let's see, notes. Let's see, put notes. Now, if you hit tab, it can make a grid. You hit tab, it'll make a grid. And then you can put things and make tables or whatever like that by hitting tab. So let's do that again. So I hit, let's see if we say um, yesterday yesterday tap today tap tomorrow and I'm just teaching you simple things that you can do um, so that you can use these things and it takes a lot of creativity like I'm just teaching you how to do simple things so that you can use them however you want to use them whatever like that so right here just like any any in any word processor you have bullet points and you can change things how you want to you have arrows um you can also use printout so basically and a lot of this is trial and error i learned all these things um so printout would basically i could take a file so let me just find a file Here's my e-discovery. It's a class I'm taking called e-discovery. I would insert it, print out, and the actual printout will be in here. So if you want to take your syllabus or everything you want it all to be here, all of this would be in here. And just because I did that and that was so awesome, what I'm going to go ahead and do is select all of this, all these five pages, because even though I'm doing this for y'all, and that's the thing I love about OneNote that I can just like quick things that I need to do. So I've selected all of them. You know what? I'm going to hit Command Z because I want to cut that. But since I'm here, let me go to my e-discovery class. And that's the thing. Um, let me make a new one for my syllabus. And you can just like go in and out of different things. But I'm going to put syllabus. I'm going to do a syllabus here. And since I'm doing a printout for y'all, and I hope this makes sense, it's like, so I'm going to do a printout, and I'm going to do, go to my e-discovery class, Ew. sorry, Ew. okay, so that didn't just work, um, you know, this So let me try to do a printout. Okay, here we go. My printout of my syllabus. And that's everything right here. So that's all 10 pages. So everything is right here. But as y'all can see, everything I need, I just go straight into. And this is constitutional law from my second year of law school. So I pulled this up today because we're using this justiciability um, concept. We're using it in federal jurisdiction. But I was able to just pull that up. So basically... How you go in and out you can open up notebook but here what i'm gonna do is close this notebook and it's just gonna go to my like save files or whatever like that and i can just do that but like i said a lot of different things you have um you can pull up your uh you can pull it up on your ipad and as you draw it will come up here I probably should have had my iPad ready and showed y'all how I could draw on my iPad and it would show up here. But this is not for my iPad. This is me just making it. But a lot of different things just take time. You just have to play with it. And I actually want to show y'all. Let's see. I'm going to open a notebook. What's a notebook that I believe I put a lot into? Let's go to my civil procedure. procedure that way y'all can see some of the things I have and I can like tell you how I made those things um, I don't use the class notebook um, thing just because I don't but uh, you can like 
screenshot things, put them in there to use them. Um, and everything is pretty much loading up. I'm trying to do a lot of things at once, but so like say diversity jurisdiction. So everything I have here basically came from me working on different cases and stuff like that and com and combining it here. So I put everything on this. Um, let's see if I have anything where. So like this right here. I made this because, and I put like little pictures and things to help me like recall. I'm a visual learner. So what you can do is you go to stickers and um, you go down and you have different stickers you can use. But these are like comic stickers or whatever like that. And like, let's say, um, like I'm like making something and I can just type in here, make enter and it'll be right here so there you go I like that but I hit control Z control Z cuz um, that takes everything back and those little check marks I did those on my iPad but these are just different things um this like to make this CNOF to make this little thing I just used a whole bunch of these circles and it's all about like you know creativity um, if you want to um, like sometimes if I'm writing something in my notes and I want to ask a teacher something like I'll say like ask about how to copy and paste and what I'll do is I'll put make important and I always put it in blue I don't know why I picked the color blue but when I put it in blue I know that's something I need to ask my professor about in class but there are different things like I said the main thing that you have to remember with this is um, creativity oh and you can screenshot and put place different like slides and different things in your in your different things or whatever I know I'm talking in circles or whatever like that hopefully this helps someone I went a little bit more into detail about how I use OneNote and how I try to use things it's basically like a word processor so you have to use your creativity and navigate those things hopefully so I just started school um, today so I just have the classes that I'm in so I have not been able to um, oh wait quick little something I took one of I took the constitutional law information that I had I copy all of those files into my federal jurisdiction class because I believe I'm gonna need some of those things um, I'm gonna need some of those things for this class but this is like like these things right here like these little nuggets or whatever I was able to find that in um, stickers or whatever like it's just all about like looking through different things to make different things but I hope this helps everyone and um, yeah uh, make sure to like subscribe and share and hopefully it's helps.